what's up guys today we're going to be editing this sky replacement effect where we remove the sky and replace it with a time lapse so here's my raw video clip the first thing i'm going to do is select the video clip and go over to the effects tab and go to mask and keying and the first thing we need to do is remove the detailed parts behind the trees here because the sky is white i'm going to use the luma key effect but if you have a blue sky then it's probably best to use the green screen keyer effect. So let's drag this onto the video clip. And over here we have these sliders and let's just drag this one back here. And then on the white side here, let's just drag this down until we get rid of the sky and the little detail bits in between the trees here. That looks good. Now let's copy and paste the video clip, hold down option and click and drag the video clip up. On this top video clip, let's delete the luma key effect and go here to the magic wand tool and add the magnetic mask. So now on this mask, I want to select the house, basically everything under the horizon level. We can also go up here and click this brush tool here and just paint on the bits that we want to keep. Okay, so now let's click analyze up here and that's going to track the mask to the video clip. Once the mask is done, we can click done up here. I'm just going to turn the feather down slightly on this magnetic mask. So now we have the sky removed, we need to add in the time lapse. For this one, I'm using this clouds time lapse stock footage from Artlist. But you can find these on YouTube if you just search for like sky time lapse or clouds time lapse. Let's drag that down into the timeline and put it underneath our two video clips. So if I play that back, now that should play in the background. Now we need to match the colors of the sky to the video clip. So if I select the sky time lapse, go up to the color board here and go to exposure. And then on the exposure for this one, it needs a lot more exposure. Click here and add a shape mask and make this shape mask nice and wide. And then extend the feather up to the top of the video. So we get a nice fade. On the house layer with the luma key effect, I'm just going to change the settings slightly and turn down the shrink here underneath mat tools just to get rid of this white edge around the house. And then also, Let's go to light wrap and turn the light wrap up, which will give it a nice soft edge around the house. So now we've added the color grade. The sky time lapse blends in a lot nice to the shot. From here, if we wanted to speed ramp it, we can select all of the video clips, right click and go to new compound clip, click OK. To add a speed ramp, we can press R on the keyboard, select the part that you want to change the speed and go to the speed wheel here. And let's go to fast times eight. And then also the end part, let's select that and go to fast times eight. Now, because we've added it into a compound clip, the speed ramps will also affect the time lapse. If you didn't want that to happen, then you can just turn the house layer into a compound clip and leave the time lapse underneath. For the transitions in the intro shot, I use some transitions from this flash transition pack. I'll leave the link to it in the description. And we can double click to add that to the video. And that will add a nice flash transition to the video. You can use discount code YouTube on my website to get 20% off any of the products on there. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next video, I'm going through even more Final Cut Pro effects and transitions. So subscribe if you want to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.